Welcome back. Today is day number two, three, four. Honestly, I don't know. I lost count. Does not matter. Today I went to Home Depot, got myself a collapsible cart to serve as the chassis for this unit. So I'm putting together. So let's get to work. Okay, so using tape was a good temporary idea for mounting everything together, but it's not a good solution for the long run, so I'm gonna change that right now.
I'm done improving the mounting on this thing and it's no longer held by tape. Now it's actually metallic straps that hold it together. Now the next step I need to mount it on some kind of a rolling chassis which is going to make it a lot easier to move around. Well for that I actually have this thing. So as you can see this thing has a lot of open areas and spaces. This, well that's easy to solve. There, problem solved. Now, another problem that I need to solve is this thing is sitting on the ground, so I need to somehow lift it to this point so I can actually grab this and pull it whenever I need to. For the moment, I need to figure out how to mount this to that without dam damaging anything. This thing does not fit in our trunk. This is 55 or 54 centimeters or 21 inches. And our trunk is 53, top to bottom. So this and this cart, the way it is, is just not going to work. So after spending some time and thinking about it, I think what we're going to do is split this whole thing in two. This will fit in the trunk. This by itself will fit in the trunk. Together they're not going to fit in the trunk. So There's a solution. The unit is in a box. I have two spots I can lift it with. Not the most elegant, not what I wanted to do, but it works. And that's how it's gonna be. This box is gonna be the housing for this unit. I have these modules. Now these two modules, this one is input 24 volt, output 12 volts. Reason is, we want to be able to plug things like car chargers, USB adapters, and small electrical devices that doesn't require turning on the main inverter. The second module here, a 12 volt input with a 24 volt output. This module is actually doing the reverse reason we're going to be installing this module is so we can take 12 volt from our car and plug it in to charge the whole battery assembly. Now in order to continue with this I'm going to have to take it out of the box, put it back on the cart and figure out ways to mount and wire these. So I will be back in a few. Alright so a couple of things. Um, since the unit is a lot more stable now I'm able to tilt it and flip it and I'll do all that and in a second I'll turn the camera around and show you exactly what's going on the electrical parts that I have installed so far 
are not easy to access because of the way the inverter is mounted on top of the battery and that was by design so nothing can by accident tear wires but it is very hard to work with that setup So this is the current setup. This is how it's wired into the inverter. As you can see I got two negative wires because these were pre-made before I started making the video and these are made out of five wires each so I just did two of them in parallel and you got yourself your ten strands. This one I made yesterday and you saw me making this and this is how it's mounted. This right there is the positive terminal for the battery. That's the negative terminal for the battery. This is the BMS. <clears throat> this right here is an on and off for this unit. So if I connect it like this, it's on right now for this charge. And if it's disconnected, it's off. So the device cannot drain the battery further at the moment. Now, I am planning to solder a switch to this and mount it somewhere at the top of the box. So I'll be able to easily turn it on and off. In addition, I have this module to install. And I have this module to install. As I said before, one of them is a down converter, the other one is an up converter. The down converter is going to convert anything that's 24 volts to 12 volts that way we can plug in accessories that have 12 volt requirement the up converter is for a very different reason the up converter is here to take unstable voltages from things like solar panels and convert it up to 24 volts so you can connect it to charge the battery while you're driving around in the car. Okay, I'm back. I'll turn the camera around in a second and I explain what I did. But I took a quick break from filming because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, let's get to it. Okay, so what I did 
here is I mounted the module as you can see with zip ties to make it easier and I did the same thing on the other side with the other module put some flags on there so it will be easy to figure out what is what outgoing power incoming power this is charging I did a short cord so I will not have clutter and that way I just plug an extension cord as to this this is outgoing power much thicker lines because it has 30 amps or 20 amps of power coming out so that's rated for 20 amps my time here is running short I need to get this done because we just have 10 days until we're going on our trip this needs to be functional before that time so I can fully test it if I will stop to film every five minutes and focus on camera angles I will never be able to finish this so from this point on I will just pause the camera and give you updates because I gotta finish this okay so different day different scene it's about two weeks since I worked on the battery and inverter system and I gotta admit I failed the battery power module I built for our portable slash permanent system well it's not gonna work out as portable and we ended up buying an EcoFlow that system is too heavy to carry that's number one the second problem is that the wake voltages for the solar panel charging is way way too high started charging from 150 volts and up from the PV channel somehow when I was shopping for an inverter I missed that little piece of information and I imagined to myself that I saw a wake voltage of 24 volts and that was incorrect yeah I pretty much failed hard for me to admit on video but hey life goes on today is Saturday tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the morning we are starting our journey on our camping trip and we're planning to bring the camera along and record it all so you guys can enjoy it but that unit is staying at home and it's going to be serving as our power backup system for our place as for portable power well we ended up buying an EcoFlow so I'm going to end the video here and our next video will be the trip and I will also at some point will review the EcoFlow. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, please like, subscribe and share. Have a beautiful day.